Okay, welcome on everyone. It's Thursday and uh, the week is going by very quickly. We've transitioned from Parshas Achrimos into Kedoshim. Yesterday in the fourth Aliyah of the Combined Parshios. Today we're going to do a Rashi from the fifth Aliyah since it is Thursday. The fifth Aliyah of the Combined Parshios. It's a short Rashi. Uh, maybe a Rashi you're familiar with, but a powerful Rashi and an important one for us to contemplate. Amongst the many, many mitzvahs that are stated here in Parshas Kedoshim, one after the other is the other, and you have to figure out kind of what the transitions are and why they're connected one to the other. That's a whole study in and of itself. Uh, but in this very packed parsha, parsha of mitzvahs, we have the pasuk which tells us, Lo selech rachil be'amecha. You should not gossip. That's the prohibition of gossip, which is similar to the prohibition of Lashon Hara, but slightly categorized slightly differently. And then the end of the pasuk, Lo samod damreacha ni Hashem. Of course, they always have to understand how the two halves of the Pesukim are connected, why Ani Hashem is mentioned. Uh, but that's, uh, again, for a whole other shear as to what the connection between Lo Samo Adam Re'echa, that's standing by uh, the blood of your neighbor, is connected to Lo Selech Rachil Be'amecha. But we're going to focus on the first half of the Pasuk. Lo Selech Rachil Be'amecha, the prohibition against gossip. I want to show you a Rashi, which I think is very insightful. I'm going to actually do the Rashi a little bit out of order because I think it's easier to understand. But in the end of the day, the Rashi tells us that the word Rachil, the real reason why Rachil, which is a peddler, um, is related to the gossiper is actually because of another association of the word Rachil with Ragel. The chain, Rochel HaSocher. For example, forget the gossiper right now. Just imagine, that's why I'm doing the Rashi a little bit out of order, because he starts with the gossiper and then he goes all the way around back to the Rochel, which is the origin of the word. So I'm going to start with the bottom of the Rashi here, the end of the Rashi, which is about a Rochel himself, a peddler, a person who sells wares, a Rochel HaSocher, a person who goes from house to house, a peddler who goes to sell things from house to house. Um, that word Rochel is related to Liragel. Rochel HaSocher, Umiragel Achar Kol Schora. The words, the, the, the letters here switch, as Rashi explains over here. Shekola Osios Hamshemotzeem Echad, Mischal Fuzobazo. Certain letters are switched in Hebrew language. Bez Befe. So, um, Bevav, Gimel Bechaf. So, Gimel and Chaf can switch in Hebrew. So if you have a chaf here, rochel, it has to be related to the word rogel. And liragel is to spy out, as we know from the miraglim, like in Parsha Shlach. So rochel has socher, a person who's a rochel, a peddler who sells wares, in some ways is related to the word liragel, to spy out, because the person is always miragel achar kos chora. They're go-getters, right? So either they're going to search for wares that they're going to sell. So they go from place to place. They search it out. They investigate. They, um, they go to all kinds of places in order to find the exact right ware that they want to sell. And then as they're selling it, they go hunt out the customers. They go spy out the customers, one after the other after the other, go space to space to space to constantly scope out, you know, where the right territory is for sales and where the right customers are. And the person who's a rochel schora is very much related to liragel. Not just the general peddler, but specifically the rochel sometimes is related uh, to the, uh, the seller of uh, perfumes or spices. So in that case as well, there's a Lashon Rogel. They're going and searching after the right kinds of women who might want to buy their products. So that's uh, no relation to uh, Rogel, although Debbie, maybe that's your ancestry. But um, in this case, Rachil and Ragel are related. So now going back to the gossiper, Lo Seleich Rachil. Ani Omer, Hashem Shekol Mishalchei Medanim, Umisaprei Lashon Hara, Hochim Bebatei Reehem Liragel Mayur Ura, O Yish Meura, Lesaper Bashuk, Nikraim, Hochei Rachil, Hochei Regila, Espimon in French. Why is the gossiper called? Rochel, or lo seilech Rachil, don't go Rachil in your nation, because Rachil, a peddler, is related to Liragel, and the gossiper is also a person who is in, interested Liragel, to go and spy things out. The person who's a gossiper is not satisfied with just saying Lashon Hara, 
speaking bad things about people when the opportunity comes their way or when they find out something just in passive form, right? They happen to hear something, they happen to see something. And then if given the right opportunity, they're going to say it, they're going to spread that word, they're going to spread that Lashon Hara. But the gossiper is on a whole other level than just a regular Lashon Hara person. A gossiper actually goes and seeks out the opportunities to speak the Lashon Hara, to spread the news, to spread the word, to spread something bad about another person. And therefore, they're always on the lookout. They're always going, they're always going to a neighbor's house, Liragel, to spy out, Mayurura, or Yishmura. What are they going to see bad? What are they going to hear bad? They're looking for opportunities in order to spread those words. And therefore, in the Torah, they're called Lo Selech Rachil, which is related to Lo Selech Liragel to go and spy out because the gossiper is a person who's spying out, who's looking for opportunities in the downfall of others to spread that word. The French, espimont, I guess related probably to es- espionage in some way. That's the same similar word. One of the proofs Rashi says to my theory is that when it's talking about a gossiper, it never just says, lo tie rachil. It always has the Lashon Halicha of going, of walking. Lo Seilech Rachil Be'amech. And he gives a whole host of other examples over here because the person's always walking. They're always going somewhere. They're always seeking new opportunities for bad, new opportunities for Lashon Hara. And that's, I thought, very interesting, both because it helps to explain the difference between regular Lashon Hara and gossip, a person who passively, you know, might receive information and then say it bad, say a bad thing about somebody else person, someone who actively seeks those opportunities and goes and spies out those opportunities to speak negatively about a person, which indicates why perhaps the gossiper, the, the rachil, is perhaps an even worse level than the regular Lashon Hara kind of person. It also, I think, reveals something insightful about any person who speaks Lashon Hara and specifically about the gossiper, which is in that in some way they're looking to put people down. They don't just uh, strike when the, the opportunity is right and they don't just take advantage of an opportunity that comes their way, but they're seeking opportunities to put people down, perhaps in order to raise themselves up. They're seeking those opportunities to destroy people, which is a particularly uh, insidious kind of behavior, which is why we treat that Avera with such severity. Hopefully none of us will ever encounter this. None of it, none of it will be there Rabbi. us, but Rabbi. hopefully we can be careful about Hello? it. Hello, Rabbi? Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course, the one thing, of course, we have to mention is the word regal, foot. All this is done on foot. Correct. Good. Excellent. Another good association, right? Anybody who's spying out is going there on foot, which is why it's related to regal and why it's always, as Rashi points out, los selech, don't go, Rachel or regal. Absolutely. Good connection. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.